a really cool mechanic in practice, but it's got me thinking about every expansion. Typically, you only get 10 new class cards. How are they going to effectively support three little mini classes throughout the year? And in a recent interview, we kind of found out why, and I think it's kind of destined to fail. Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and happy Independence Day to my American friends, us Canadians celebrated our like, I don't know what the, our national holiday on the first, but yes, no card reveals today. And I wanted to talk about a topic that well has been bubbling for quite some time. We even predicted this well over a year ago, how the rune system in Hearthstone for Death Knight is just not worked. It's kind of been a fail. And now we're kind of seeing cards such as slippery slope going down the slippery slope of being utterly useless you know what's not useless our giveaway for two regular pre-orders two mega bundles for the upcoming perils in paradise expansion to enter that giveaway like a comment in the video link down in the description below the one with that thumbnail over there be subscribed to the channel for every thousand subs we get until all the cards are revealed by the end of next week I will add another mega bundle. So hit that sub button, make me go broke. So we got a bunch of Death Knight cards revealed of which some look pretty darn cool. Some look pretty impressive, but there's one theme going on here, which is they're all like single rune cards, whether it's a single blood, a single frost, which by the way, Eliza Goreblade, how is this a frost and blood card? Like how is it not unholy? Like it's got a death rattle attack buffing. It's, it's weird, but uh, it's probably for balancing purposes with unholy holy stuff we don't want to make double and holy play bloods out of plagues or something or triple and holy we'll get to that but yeah we saw for the first time i believe since death Knight launched a double frost card which in itself would be kind of a cool thing like oh cool frost dk has something to work with but frost dk has been dead for for well pfft. I don't know, almost a year now. And by making a card like this, a double frost card, it can only be run in triple frost and double frost decks of which we have had none for almost a year. So one card isn't really gonna do that, make that difference. So yeah, we have a single frost, single unholy. And this is the way the expansions have been for quite some time. If we look at death like cards in general, since the original launch of March of Lich King, which saw some pretty iconic cards, right? The triple blood Vampiric blood card, which is still in standard. The triple Alexandros Mograine, which is no longer in standard is just, it's gone, right? Like there's no triple blood decks to be found. And that was one of the most popular archetypes ever. It, even when it got to like 45% win rate, 40% win rate, people were playing it. You have to go to like, it's a legacy, I believe. And a lot of these cards we don't own anymore to uh, look at the cards that were like launched at the beginning. And we had plenty of double like rune cards, double blood, double frost. They pushed the three archetypes of Marogar, right? An incredibly powerful triple rune card and every rune deck had a chance to shine right it was like three mini classes in one but as i noted in this video this is january of 2023 when the out like the plans were outlined there was this interview i believe uh with shack news that imic had summarized where they were saying they were going to focus on like one rune per expansion and i'm like that's not gonna work there's not enough cards to make these like rune decks work right like when you only have 10 cards in expansion three in a mini set and you have three different runes you can't support them all and what ended up happening is instead of supporting them all they immediately shifted in festival legends to a rainbow approach so the first expansion after festival legends saw a lot more like multi rune card but could be used in rainbow so you like all these single rune cards blood uh frost you did have a double blood which saw zero play to be fair and we did get a double unholy which also has never really seen play but climactic necrotic explosion the last triple rune card we have received in hearthstone it's been over a year zero triple rune cards but yeah you got three runes you got blood frost unholy and it feels like ever since this the focus on death light instead of trying to give support one expansion to blood or one expansion to unholy has led to them yeah just doing a lot of single rune cards we did see the only double unholy deck to ever see play still see some play today in plagues they really pushed this one hard 
and it does work where you have staff of the primus you have distress cabal deer even though those are the only double rune cards it has made plague dk something to play i believe this used to have a frost rune by the way uh not that long ago and hell yeah for some reason just one unholy rune the payoff remember uh, we looked at marogar was the payoff for uh the unholy deck hell yeah which is like the payoff for plagues it is one unholy room which is really weird that still has never settled well but it helps the rainbow decks right and the majority of these cards like the primus no rune attachment have kind of slotted into there and then the next expansion again we really got just more rainbow like blood and unholy frost and unholy single unholy runes and then yeah we get the random double unholy card and the common trend outside of those play cards it doesn't see play. It's almost like whenever they make a double card because they don't want to make triple stuff, they only want to support rainbow. Every time they make a double unholy card or double rune card in general, that's the same rune, it's a dead card. It's basically a hindrance. It's a wasted spot in the collection. And when you have cards like Reska and you compare it to like the triple uh, rune payoff cards, it's better than like all, it's such an insane card. And this is only two runes, right? And individual. So again, you could play it rainbow and then we saw with Wizbang's workshop the similar trend single runes they even power crept the farm hand making it a single rune so you could play it in a rainbow because that didn't work out but we got the one double card right we got helm of humiliation common trend here unplayable card because then you have to play double blood or triple blood which as you have seen have basically received no support and now we're on the very last expansion here the most recent one where we have the one double frost card what are the chances that this card will be playable it's a waste of an epic because of the rune system the way it is if the rune system had been implemented the way they kind of wanted it to be at the beginning of the you know their implementation of the class and support each triple rune as each expansion went along there might have been a chance for yeah slippery slope now goes in there you could play your frostworms fury you could copy it with like dark whisper but like dark whisper if that's her name death whisper i'm not sure i'm not looking at the card right now it's on there um if that was in standard it's not even there basically the rune system was a perfect way to start the class because they put like hundreds of cards or over a hundred death like cards at once but now that we're in the trickle down of like 13 cards each expansion it's not supportable and now the rune system which i loved about the class right it let the class feel like three distinctive classes in one if you put a triple unholy it's like a hindrance you can't build anything i'm looking at Wizbang here but there's not like anything you can really put together that makes a lot of sense and the best payoff unfortunately for uh triple unholy was always marogar that's not in standard you literally just have bloodlust that that's your payoff bloodlust with triple blood it was um alexandrios mograine would give you that inevitability now just for all you get for a payoff for triple blood is vampiric blood that that's it that's it and again frost probably has the best shot because yeah their best card was frostworms fury it's still there but the remainder of the support is mostly gone like the draw engine we had that six mana legendary that would get it so they've basically abandoned triple runes yet they still for some reason are printing like sporadically for uh, i just i can't really put my head around it these double rune cards at this point it feels like they should just scrap the rune system it's not working basically it's rainbow or bust for like 99 percent of the cards unless they're a play card and if you want to be competitive you just have to play a rainbow deck because that's where all the support is and because it's just rainbow it just makes it feel like every other class right like you're forced to build play with only the single rune or the cards that have single runes on them with different combinations all of a sudden the class that was about it like the most flexibility and at least had that illusion of choice right you had the illusion of i could play triple blood i could play triple unholy i could play one of these different things i had that it's kind of just gone definitely just like every other class now you just play rainbow or you just don't really play it and again that kind of takes away a lot of the fun of the class for me as yeah when i when i started playing it was about what well, do i want to play on holy today do i want to play blood today do i want to play frost and i played all of them 
I had a great time. And now it's like, do I play rainbow with certain different cards in and out? Or do I play a Reno? Well, now I can't play Reno because like, that's the two best performing Reno decks. It's embarrassing. They should nerf Reno again. It's just a system that was doomed to fail. It was destined to fail. Unfortunately, we kind of predicted it like a month after it released. It just seemed like it wasn't gonna work the plan that they laid out. And yeah, that's where we're at, where if you look on Reddit, there's tons of threads about it, people being disappointed of the direction of the class. I still really, like, I enjoy a rainbow deck. Don't get me wrong, rainbow is fun, but again, now it's just Death Lights the rainbow class. It's not the class that, you know, we were kind of sold on, right? Each rune having a big impact, and right now, it feels like unless there's a single rune on the card or like a combination of single runes, the cards are absolutely useless, and we're getting you know they're still doing the double double frost double blood double and holy it's weird and like almost none of them have seen play so there's a bit of a rambling on why i'm just a bit sad about how it has kind of failed and the only way to really make you know make it work is to make more cards like the only way i could see like triple blood or triple and holy working in the long term is death like it's like double or triple the cards per expansion then the game gets infinitely more expensive and resources that doesn't quite work it just feels like yeah maybe it is time for the rune system to go and leave it as like a wild thing and just have death like cards be death like cards i don't know we'll see how it evolves maybe they got a plan going forward but right now it just ain't working out at least in my opinion let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below card reveals again tomorrow stay tuned i i i'll give a minor spoiler it's amazing it's ridiculous so stay tuned for that if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends